Hey everyone, I was just wandering around the building after church and uh, oh, look where I am. This uh, might look a little familiar to some of you, uh, although it's very strange to be in here by myself. Um, everybody else who is part of the service is leaving and well, it's sort of quiet down here right now. But that weird kind of quiet where I can hear the HVAC system going on. Anyway, I hope all of you are doing well. Um, we, of course, all miss you all. And hey, thank you all so much, those of you who were part of our Kindness Challenge. Um, I saw the press bee come out today with your stories and your pictures, and y'all, you help give me hope in this time. So thank you. Today, let's talk about a tiny little easy thing, faith. So, faith. Super simple, easy topic, right? Before I sort of blather on for a bit, I wonder, what do you think about faith? What is faith to you? I ask this because faith is one of those really big words that means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But the secret is there's no real one right answer to what faith is or looks like for people because we encounter God differently, each one of us. In the Bible, specifically in the Gospel of Matthew that I've been preaching on uh, throughout the summer, we have these little stories that help us to get at what faith might be like. Stories called parables. They're kind of like fables in a way. They're, they're metaphors that would have used images that the people that were listening to Jesus would have known pretty well what they were. And there's kind of like a little twist there. Right, you might think of um, oh, what are some of the ones we read? The parable of the soils, or the parables of the weeds. Um, parable of a mustard seed is a good one. One of the parables that Jesus uses to describe what faith is is the parable of the mustard seed. Now, the mustard seed, if you've never seen one, is like really, really, really small, but it's cool because it grows into something really, really, really big. I mean, it's a bush, but it's a bush that kind of looks like a tree, and it's so big that birds can nest in it, and sometimes other little sort of furry rodents and such can find shelter in there, too. It's, it's a very versatile plant. Unless, of course, you were a first century farmer, and then it was just a weed. And if you know Matthew or you've been following along with us in the preaching series, you know that there was a, a parable just before that about how weeds are bad. And so the people are listening to Jesus and like, right, right, you know, we, we know Jesus that weeds are bad. We sometimes deal with them in our own gardens and fields. But then Jesus turns around and said, but this type of weed, or at least what you think of as a weed, is actually good. And is like what faith is like. Faith starts with something really small and insignificant, something that you might just want to throw away, and it can grow up into something big and life-sustaining and life-changing for some. That's pretty cool, right? But there are other stories about what faith is like, right? Yeah, so there's the feeding of the 5,000. We see faith in this story in a couple places. First of all, and it wasn't just 5,000 people, by the way. It was 5,000 men, because in that culture that was very sexist, they only counted men. So there were also women and children there. So there's probably at least 10,000 people, maybe even 15,000 or more. It's like a stadium-sized crowd has come out to see Jesus. And why have they come to see Jesus? Are they that bored? Maybe. But Jesus was doing things. Jesus was, among many other things, he was known as a healer. Um, in that culture... There was an understanding that when you got anything from like a bad case of the flu to if you had something like seizures or mental illness, that you could that you could go to somebody and they could pray over you or touch you and you would be healed of that um, without getting into sort of the ways in which our culture doesn't really understand that or accept that or believe that that's a thing. The culture that this text was written for did. They believe very fervently in that. And so... These people, when they saw that Jesus was doing that, they had faith that he could help them too. And so they come to Jesus in faith. That's another thing that faith looks like. And then Jesus recognizes that the people need to eat. Well, actually, the disciples pointed out to him, although I'm sure he realized it, because it was getting late and they'd been out there all day and they were in the middle of nowhere. So how are we going to feed the stadium-sized crowd? 
I don't think anyone thought to contact catering before going out there. And so Jesus tells the 12 disciples, gather up what you have, right? And it's just what? The loaves and the fishes, not even enough to fill a basket. And Jesus gives thanks for them, breaks it, blesses it, has the disciples handed out, and through this miracle, they all eat. And that is another metaphor for faith, right? Together, what we have is very, very small and insignificant. But when we do it together, kind of like, well, think about the kindness challenges, right? When we all just do one little small thing, it's, it's one little small thing, and that's wonderful, and we should do that, but it's just one little thing. But if we all do one little small thing, and then imagine if everybody around the world did that and did it all the time, think about how much better our world would be. And so I'm curious, what does faith look like to you? I invite you to talk about it with whoever you're with, with your adults. And as always, feel free to shoot me a message if you want to talk about it more. I would love to continue this discussion. But faith, among all its many things, is a journey. And there's no real one right answer as to what it is or what it's supposed to look like for everybody. And I pray that you all will be strengthened by what you have as your faith and what you will come to know throughout your lives as your faith. And again, friends, thank you for everything you do. You are an inspiration to all of us, and you really are leaders in this time of transition for us. So thanks be to God for you all, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.